Um, I guess I can technically say good morning, good morning, but, uh, it's, it's nearly 2 a.m., uh, but I, I'm up because I'll explain why in the next clip, which I accidentally recorded before this because I forgot that I had already finished my vlog. Welcome to year five of daily vlogging. <laughs> Um, it's 1.40 in the morning, and the reason why I'm up this late is because I started this book and then, kid you not, could not put it down. Just kept going all the way through, which is not something I was expecting, because usually I'm not a huge fan of, like, palace and thing and all of that, but, um, this was an exception, and Ashlyn's reading too! I am! Yeah. I'm not powering through as quickly, though. I'm well, struggling. Ashlyn's reading Catcher in the Rye, which if you've ever read Catcher in the Rye, I love the main character because it I it took me the entire time to be like, there is something up with you and I can't figure it out. But it's a very, how would you describe it, Ashlyn? Uh, it's chaotic. Yes, that I agree with that. It's, it's like difficult to read because, because like, it's like his thought, it's me right now. Yeah. And like written words, like you can't really piece together what he's saying and it's a lot. Yeah. But I'm so close. So You're like, so close. You're through. so close. You got it. Yeah. But um, this one, uh, yeah, I'm very glad. I have the other ones in the series. There's one more I need to get from the library, but I don't think it's the second one because I think the second one is the elite because that's where this one leaves off where she's like, I'm a part of, like, she's a part of the elite. So I'm assuming that's the second book. But yeah, it's nearly two o'clock in the morning. I have not stayed up this late reading in forever. So after two series that I've read that I stopped them early because I was like, I'm not here for this. I am so glad that I found one that I was like, yes. So I'm gonna end this. Oh wait, oh my gosh. I technically ended the vlog. I forgot. This is the beginning of the next day's vlog because I already ended my vlog before. Okay, now it's the real more. <clears throat> And not the real morning. It was always the morning. But now it's like 9.36 or something. So I'm awake. Um, I'm driving for Uber Eats during the end of breakfast slash lunch hour today. Um, so that way I'm not reliant on the sun and the sunlight. Um, and I can see the entire time while I drive. Um, so we're going to see how that goes. I think I'm going to start about 10.30 and I'm going to end around 2. Um, and yeah. Happy October 1st. It's spooky month and it is Disney's 50th anniversary. Disney World's, sorry. Um, Disneyland has already had, uh, Disneyland is at their like 60th, I think, or past their 60th. Um, I will say, I'm gonna give my honest opinions on watching the fireworks show last night. I was a little disappointed. Um, Happily Ever After gave me so many, and I only saw Happily Ever After on the TV screen three times while I was on vacation in April. Um, I didn't stay for the fireworks in September when I was there. Um, and so I didn't see it a whole ton, but that gave me all the feelings like, oh my gosh. So for this new one, Disney Enchantment, I cried at the beginning, but it was more from like the excitement of like seeing what was gonna happen. And then it just, it felt, someone described it really well that it felt really disjointed. And I 100% agree with that. I just feel like the projections were really cool. And I really appreciate all of the hard work that went into it. And the design work that went into it. Just because it's artists and technology. And I appreciate that the hard work that that, you know, that goes into that. But it did. It just felt really disjointed with the music and, and the projections. And like, they did a lot of covers of songs. And I hate to say it, but in particular... Um, the uh there was a cover of into the unknown that even when i first heard it i was like that sounds off key and i think it was um so yeah it was a uh, i was not i liked harmonious better than i liked that so i don't think i'll ever be watching that i will gladly ride rides while that is going all righty i am heading out to deliver for a few hours i'm also going to return the book that i literally finished last night which was not planned um but i'm gonna return that while i wait to get my first request well so far i'm off to a great start because my first order was literally right when i pulled out of the neighborhood and it was for seven dollars 
We love that. So deliveries are going very well. However, one of the things that is a is a thing um, is, and I haven't run into it a lot, but customers can have a pin that in order to complete the delivery, they give the pin to you and you have to type it in. But the thing is, is that if you have someone like this person, it was me at the door, but then when I message them say, hey, like I'm honored or, you know, it's my pleasure to take care of your order today. I'm on, I wanted to let you know I'm on your way with it. She was like, hey, like awesome. Feel free to leave it at the uh, outside the front door if that's easiest for you. So I said, okay, will do. So the thing is, is like now I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting for her to give me the pin, but if she doesn't give it to me in a few minutes, then, cause I can't do my next delivery. Like I had two pickups, but I can't do the next pickup until this one's complete. So I was about to head back to the house um, because it's 2 PM, but I got a last delivery and it's two, it's a double delivery um, for $28, like together it's for $28. And I was like, I'm taking it. I will take that. Uh, yep, I'll do it. So, um, because my, my call with Ellie today, it actually turns out, I think it's just going to be a phone call because she asked me what the best, what my best number was. Um, so I think, I mean, I'll still be home, but I don't have to worry as much about being like, Oh, I got to make sure I'm in front of my laptop or I'm in front of all that stuff. Cause we haven't sent a zoom link or anything. I got lucky with that one. So the pickup was at a, a chicken salad chick, which was extremely busy and I feel bad. They're definitely short staffed. And there was another person, there were a few people waiting there for Uber Eats, and there was another guy there that had two things just like I did, but I got really lucky, and I got, I mean, granted, I did have to wait for probably like 10 minutes, um, but I, I got both. He got one of his, and then I got both of mine. Um, I got one of them first, and then a few minutes later, I got my other one, so I was like, whoo! Very glad, which I mean, granted, I messaged both of the people and let them know that I was waiting and they both seemed very nice. Um, one of them was so sweet. They were like, we appreciate you. And I was like, ah, I love it. So anyway, I mean, I'm making 28 bucks. I'll take it. This is kind of dumb, but this is what I'm doing. So I need gas like desperately. And I don't know, honestly, if I can make it back to where my house is with what I'm on right now. So, but I, I downloaded this new app through, actually it was Uber, Uber Eats that was like, hey, download download this app to get cash back on your gas but it's only at specific gas stations and so there's one right near my house but I was like I don't know if I can make it there so I'm gonna get a little bit of gas here just enough like a gallon just so I'm like okay great and then get to that one and fill up the rest of the way so I can get money so I got like a gallon and a half of gas which was like four dollars um and I've decided I need to go to the grocery store anyway and I got enough gas it looks like um that I should be able to get to work tomorrow and then like home now to work tomorrow and like then go to the store afterwards um, and get gas and go to the store at the same time. Um, so that's the plan. That's the new plan. So I am just going home, but then I am gonna get gas and groceries after work tomorrow because according to the schedule, the cabaret, oh, not cabaret, the company kids should be done by 2.30. So I should be out of there by three. So. I should be able to get everything I need. So it's 3.45. I have my call with Ellie at five, which should not last too long because she's really just giving me notes on my pilot, which I'm so grateful that she read it because having someone from Warner Brothers read my pilot, which she's actually already read my other pilot and my other feature. So crazy. Um, anyway, so I'm really hoping she'll have enjoyed it. And I'm really looking forward to hearing her notes because I do have an idea of some larger things I'm doing for this like not full rewrite, but right now it's rewrite or it's draft 1.5, but to get it to draft two, there's like a few things that I've gotten notes on that I'm like, ah, okay, I'm going to do this, this, and this. And so I'm going to run those ideas by her, see what she thinks of them. Um, and yeah, so my plan is to take care of emails, like social media, if I can, things like that before my call with her. Then after my call, I have a feeling my goal is to devour this next book in the series because if I, if I enjoy it and anywhere near how much I enjoyed the first one, I will finish reading this in a night. I do not care. Look at what I walked in on. Everyone's right here. So cute. This is the first time this has happened and we've lived here for 10 months. <laughs> oh, this is what happens when I need to eat. Oh my gosh. When I need to eat dinner and she just came out from under the couch and I was like, wait, no, you can't sit on my lap because I'm, oh my gosh. I am going to finish the chapter of my book 
and then go to bed because it is 11.17 and I need to be at AWP at 9 a.m. tomorrow. So, um, yes, got to make sure I head to bed at a decent time instead of 2 a.m. like last night. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. All my social media is in the description. Love you all.